Beware the false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. So, so I feel like I am super crystal clear on the Protestant read on Scripture in terms of how salvation happens, but I have to admit, I have no idea how you guys think of it. So can you like explain to me like I'm five, how does a person, how is a person a Christian in the Orthodox Church? I would say that the Protestant and the Catholic world, which you got it from them, sorry. Okay, <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Is what I would call based on redemptive theology. Okay. All right, so redemptive theology works like this. Um, <clears throat> man is sinful. God sure. rejected. Uh, uh, we re rejected God, and therefore we're punished. And we've received God's justice because we rejected God. And God's punishment is just, and, and, and the wages of sin is death. So we're paying. But God doesn't want that, so he offers some salvation. So he offers Jesus to pay the price. Yes. And so Jesus pays the price of blood. And then we are redeemed, therefore redemptive theology, washed by the blood of the Lamb and set free. Yes. Okay? That's salvation. But is it? That's that's actually a formula, and that's all it is. So let me go back and explain that. So our salvation works like this. <clears throat> we, we rejected God, and God is life. We chose death. We, by rejecting God, we rejected life. <clears throat> and God is not so punishing as to say, oh, I have to have a price of blood. You know, is God really that narrow? You know, he doesn't, we've chosen that out of the freedom that he gave us. He gave us enough freedom to reject him, and we did. So he basically becomes human and, and tries to reclaim us, but not with taking our freedom away. He comes and says, this is the, uh, the path of salvation. So first he becomes human. He incarnates, becomes human, teaches us, leads us, and then he accepts death. And it's not the death that saved us. And this whole thing about an Isaiah that uh, by his stripes are we healed, mm -hmm. you know, does that mean that by whipping him and making him suffer, that God somehow his justice was justified? Or does it mean that because he did that, we found a path? Because now will I lead all men to myself. People don't pay attention to boring stories. Uh, um, the, the, the pearl of English literature is, is, is um, uh, Romeo and Juliet. If they didn't die in that awkward manner, it'd be a boring story, right? If Jesus didn't die a horrific death, who would have paid attention? Now will I draw all men to myself. Salvation didn't occur on the cross. It occurred on the third day. And Jesus didn't raise from the dead. And this is where I think Protestants get it wrong. Jesus raised from the dead to prove that he was the redeemer. He rose from the dead to prove that he was God and only that God could redeem. No. Jesus raised from the dead because he was human. Because that's the plan for humans. That's salvation. We're going to raise from our graves. And if you read the Nicene Creed, it's really clear. I believe in the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. So you believe in, in punishment of God. You believe in... The grace, the mercy, the resurrection no, of God. Punishment, pause there. Yeah. I would argue and say, see, if you read it in and say, well, God is angry and he's punishing, I don't see God as angry and he's punishing. I see God is consistent. God is consistent. So if he says, I gave you freedom, and I will not take it away, and you use the freedom to destroy yourself, he's not punishing you, you chose it. The Bible technically was never really organized. It's, it's basically, it wasn't capitalized, it, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, that kind of came later, so the, the, the church that. always was able to put it however it wanted to do it. And, you know, our viewpoint is it's our book, we'll do whatever we want with it. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, people say, well, the Bible tells you to do this, and we're like, dudes, we wrote this thing, and then we do what we want with it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that drives people crazy. Uh, yeah, but, well, I, I mean, I, I could see it. I, I mean, oh, that, yeah. That's but, nails you know, on a chalkboard to a Protestant. That history, I mean, when you have a history of a council that put the, the gospel, you know, the Bibles together and said, well, Thomas is not in there.